Hello, Cricketers, and welcome to Cricketing with Delanda. It's me again, Delanda, and thank you so much for joining me today. In today's tutorial, I will be showing you how to sublimate leather luggage tags that look just like this. I am so excited and impressed with the way these came out, and I can't wait to share my process with you. I'm going to show you how to download images that are free from copyright infringement. I'm gonna show you how to get them uploaded into Cricut Design Space. I'm gonna show you the mistake that I made along the way because as always, I made a mistake and I'm not afraid to share it with you so you don't make the same mistake. So without further ado, let's look at the materials you'll need in order to create beautiful leather luggage, tag, luggage tags that look just like this. The materials that I'll use for this project include, this is the ink that I use, Hippo Sublimation Ink. A sub sublimation paper. I will be connected to my Cricut Explore Air 2. I'll use my Starcraft 8 and 1 12 by 15 swing away heat press. These gloves came with the heat press. You don't have to use these gloves, you don't have to use this heat press. You could do this also with a Cricut 9 by 9 easy press or any easy press that will reach 400 degrees. I'm using Cricut heat resistant tape. I'll also leave a link to this tape dispenser. I get questions about this all the time. These luggage leather luggage tags that I purchased from Amazon, I am in love with these. These are fantastic. Um, they come with these um, straps to put them together. Use, I'll use um, a couple of sheets of butcher paper and my green standard grip mat. My printer is an Epson EcoTank 2760 and I'll be just connected to Cricut Design Space. All right, so without further ado, let's look at the way that I find my images and then we'll move over to Cricut Design Space. The first thing that I'll do to find my images or the first thing that I did to find my images was I typed in travel scenery images within Google Chrome and then I clicked on the images tab and then I clicked on this little tool right here where it says tools and I clicked on the um, option for usage rights. Then I clicked on Creative Commons licenses because I wanted to make sure I was using images that were within the public domain and I wouldn't have any copyright infringement. This is one of the pictures that I used in my um, luggage tags. And if I were to click on the license details, it'll tell me that, um, let me click out of here, that this is for, this image is for use in the public domain, okay, for public domain dedication. So it's fine for me to use this in my video and on my luggage tag, okay? So I click right click on it and I just choose save image as, and I didn't change the name of it. I just kept it as Canyon, Capitol Reef, Utah, whatever it was already here. I just kept it as that and I clicked save. Another of the images that I chose or another way that I found images for my luggage tags was that I typed in beach um, background images. Okay, and I just hit enter. I wanted to make sure I was on the images tab. I went back to tools. I went to usage rights. I clicked on Creative Commons licenses. And this is another one of the images that I chose. I right clicked on it. I can look at the license details just to make sure, okay, it's for use in the public domain. Okay, so it's fine for me to use this one. I can right click on it, save image as. I didn't change the name of it. I kept it just as it was. I saved it and then I uploaded both of these images into Cricut Design Space. So now that I've shown you that, I'll, we will go over to Cricut Design Space. I am in Cricut Design Space and I'm connected to my Cricut Explore Air 2. I'll start to upload the files that I just downloaded from the Google website that I showed you. So this is one of the files. I'll click um, this one because this was the one that had the canyon. This was another file that I um, downloaded and here is a third one that I like and I will... Um, get all four of these added to my canvas and I'll show you how I plan to use them. Okay. So they came in all together and I'll just separate them. All right. The size of my 
luggage tags is right at about three by four, three inches wide by four inches um, in length. So I will resize, I'll just grab a shape, I'll grab a square and I will re I'll unlock it and I'll resize it to 3.1 by the height of 4.1. And this will serve as my template so that when I um, slice out of these images, they'll all be the same size and they'll all be appropriately sized for my luggage tags. Okay, so I'll take the first one and that is you know enough of the image for me for the photo, um, for my luggage tag. So I'll just put the template on top and I have two things selected. I have the square and the first image. I'm gonna click slice. Slice only works when you have two things selected at a time. So this will be one luggage tag. I'll take that same template. I'll resize this just big enough to, you know, for me to grab from. Okay, and I, I just want a little bit of that palm tree in there. I don't have to have the whole thing. Okay, I'll select those two images. I have the, the um, template and I have this image. I'm going to click slice. It's going to give me another rectangle. Okay, there it is right there. I can delete this now. I'm going to do that same thing again. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger put my template on top. I have a little bit of the tree at the top and uh, some of the water and some of the sand. I'll select both and I will slice. Okay. And so now I have three templates and then I have one more and I followed the same process for downloading this image. I just um, did a Google search for background images and I like this one because it kind of reminds me of the water but it's more abstract so I like it and I decided that I wanted to use it I'm going to click slice okay so now I have four images to make four luggage tags and I might not make four um, but I have the option to do that because it's better to do four um, and not waste paper because if I only print two images I have a lot of paper that's wasted okay so now i don't need this anymore this was just my template i can delete this all right so now i'm going to go into um phrases within cricut design space because there are so many options there okay and so i can kind of look and see what i like so let me see i can type in vacay let's see okay it says vacay all day oh hey vacay hey vacay hey i like this one Let's see, I like this one right here. Let me add it to my canvas and um, I can resize this. Let's see, do I want it here? Ooh, I like that, but I also like it here. I think I'm gonna put it over here and I'm gonna change the color of the word vacay. I think I want it to be, let's see. Green is nice. I like yellow. I want this to be yellow and I am going to flatten that whole thing. So now that is one luggage tag. All right. So let me work with this one. Let me go back to phrases. It's still on vacay. I think I like this one where it says vacay vibes. Okay. And because I got the little palm tree up there already. And I can just kind of resize this and bring it over. I really, really like that. Okay. And I don't know. Let me see if I contour this, let me move all of this stuff over so that when I'm contouring, I can see what's actually happening with it. Okay. So if I contour this, let's say I don't want this, you know, I don't want any of this. So I just remove all of the little hammock and everything that goes with it. I can do that. Let's say I don't want any of that. Okay, it's still coming back. Let me see. Go down. I don't want any of that. I don't want any of that, that stuff at the bottom. Okay, yeah, I just want vacay vibes. All right, and I can put that right back on top, just like that. And 
I like that a lot. And let me see if what it would look like in blue, maybe a darker blue. Uh, let's see red. You know I like red. Um, I think I want to keep it in red. I'm going to flatten it. Okay. And then with this one, okay, so it has more of a mountainous background. So let me go back to phrases and let me see. Um, let me just do travel. Because I don't necessarily want it to say mountains. I don't know if you hear that dog barking in the background. That's my neighbor's dog. Um, let me see. Maybe um, made to travel. Let's see. The travel is to live. I like that. Gone to the beach. Time to explore. Um... Take me to the beach. Uh, I can't. I have the world to see. I like that. I can't. Let's see what that looks like. Now that would not look bad on this. But I would have to change the colors. I would have to change those colors. So maybe yellow. And black not too crazy about that one but let me go back to this one I think I like to travel is to live so I am going to use that let me turn off this part and I think I'm going to turn off the airplane too and maybe use this over here I like that, but I also like it here. I want to use it here, okay? And maybe on this one, I'll just add my name. So I'll type Delanda, Delanda, and I'll change it to that Samantha font called Samantha Upright and I will um, ungroup it and I'll go to my character map and I'll kind of play with that font a little bit. I'll change the A so that I can the A at the end of my name and I'll stretch it out. I have a full tutorial on how to use and find the glyphs um, so that is not something I'm going to do in this tutorial, but um, I will definitely leave a link below for how to do that. I'll click copy. I'll go back to Cricut Design Space, click on that A, remove it, and add that A. And I will, do I like that D? Let me go back and look at the options for D. Um, let me look at the D, 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 don't like that one, do not, I like this one, I'm going to click copy, go back to Cricut Design Space, I'm going to hit Backspace, Control V, I like that, I want to select the whole thing, I am going to weld it, Okay, and then I am going to rotate this by 180 degrees. Um, and do that. I will rotate this by 90 degrees. Yes. Okay, and see, do I like it like that? I like it like that. I want it this way. I think I want it this way. Okay, I like that. Looks a little bit crooked. Uh, let's see. Let me go back. Let me go back again. That looks, it just, 
Let me rotate about 270 degrees. And put it there with nothing. I think that looks fine just like that. I think I'll do it exactly like that. I'll select the whole thing and I will align it and I will center it. And then I will, let me make sure what color is it. Make sure it's the darkest it can be. And I will flatten it. Okay, so now I have four luggage to, uh oh, just kidding. Let me um, flatten this one. And now I have four luggage tags that are ready to go. And so now I will click make it. All four of my images have been flattened. Okay. So because I am not going to, I don't think I'm going to allow my Cricut to cut this out because it's really just four rectangles. I really don't need the machine to cut it out. Um, I'm just going to spread them out just in case I decide that I want to cut them. And I don't want to take a risk of having awful cuts. Okay. And I will click continue. Send it to my printer. I'm sending this to my Epson 2760. I'll keep the ad bleed on. I'm going to keep use system dialog on. I'm going to click print. And then I'm going to go to preferences. I have my sublimation preset already set. And I'm going to click print. So I'll get my paper, load it into my machine. Okay. And I will click print. Everything that I'll do from here will be back on the camera. I have taken my image from my printer and what I always do when I take the image from the printer, the first thing I do is I put it on my heat plate and I just let the heat from the heat press just heat the, make sure that all of my ink is dry. My heat press is set to 400 degrees. I'm using my StarCraft 8-in-1 um, 15, 12 by 15 swing away and I'm just going to let it sit there for about a minute and then I will put my images on my mat and let my Cricut get it cut out. I have my images placed on my mat. Now I will get it loaded into my Cricut Explore Air 2 and hopefully it will read the registration marks. Hopefully. Hopefully. I am going to choose. Press my flashing C and hope that it does what it's supposed to do. I'm scanning. I might have the best luck with this. Because my shapes are rectangles, I'm not worried about whether or not it's mirrored because it's just four rectangles. I'll speed this part up. So this is what the blank looks like and I'll just put this, I'll put it down on top like this to make sure that I have my full image covered. Okay, I kind of went too, oh, I did not make it, did not make it tall enough. I'm going to have to press it. I'm going to have to print these again. See, let me show you. So what would happen is this would be sticking out. So that is no good. I'm gonna to have to make this taller. So I have my image set at 3.1. I'm gonna probably go to 3.3 and yeah, and bring the words down because I need to save space for this opening right here. I 
have my new image printed out and I did still cut it very close, but we're gonna see if this will work and that I don't have any white showing. So I'm gonna get my image taped down using my Cricut heat resistant tape and we will see. We will see, we will see. So I'm just gonna add some tape all around it. Well, not all around it, maybe just in two places so that I don't get any ghosting. And I am going to put butcher paper just on the bottom of my plate for the overlap. Okay. So I have it taped. Just add a little tape here. Ooh, I did cut it very close, but we shall see. We shall see. So my leather, my leather luggage tag is on the bottom. My image is on the top. I'm gonna put a piece of butcher paper on top of that. And I'm going to press it on 400 degrees for 60 seconds. I'll speed this part up. Okay, it's beeping. I'm gonna open it and I'm going to get my heat resistant gloves that came with this heat press. And this is my first time sublimating leather. So hopefully my temperature is not too high. I use 400 degrees because that's what I use really on everything I sublimate. Ooh. Ooh. I love it. I love it. Okay, that's what the first one looks like. And what am I gonna say? I love it. Let me get the other ones pressed, prepared for pressing, and I'll come right back. Okay, the last one is ready, it's beeping. Take it off. Uh-oh. See how it didn't tip over? Oh, I like this one. There's a little bit of white at the top I, because my image was not long enough. So there's a little bit of white at the very, very top right there. And I mean, it still looks nice, but I wish that wasn't there, but it's okay. I still love the way this turned out. Okay, now I'll show my final thoughts. So hopefully you were able to follow along with this process and you love it just the way that I Hopefully you were able to follow along with my process and you are able to make beautiful leather luggage tags that look just like this. Um, if you found this tutorial helpful, I'm gonna ask that you please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every week. Now, next week or within the next couple of days, I am going to be demonstrating how to sublimate a travel pillow to go along with your new leather luggage tags. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for joining me today and thanks for watching. Bye.